Hello everyone and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories Riku's story. In the last episode, we defeated Replica Riku. We met Naminé and a mysterious man known as Diz, and we realized that Ansem isn't real. He's in our hearts? So we need to go into our heart and defeat him there. If we talk to Mickey, you'd never let the darkness get the best of you, I'm sure of that. Alright, well, you heard it here first, folks. We won't let the darkness get a hold of us. Let's go ahead and use the very last card of this entire game. This is the last episode of Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. Castle Oblivion, here we go. Why did we need to use a card to enter the castle that we're already in? Food for thought. Ansem! Where are you? Show yourself! <laughs> Why in such a hurry? I'll be here at the very heart of darkness. Watching you plunge into the same darkness inside of you. <laughs> And we get the Key of Beginnings card. Castle. The very final floor. This is the first floor. This is where Sora entered. Uh, weird. If we look at our deck, we have a very big deck. We have the biggest deck. Everybody says we have a huge deck. So... <laughs> We have that. Uh, we have two zeros and a nine. Uh, we have a few nines, actually. We have a lot of nines, which is going to make uh, Dark Aura really great. This is also a wonderful, probably the best area in the game to level up, uh, simply because we do have access to the Lexius card and so many cards that we will be able to deal with these new enemies that are right here called Neo Shadows. If we use the Lexius card, which we'll do right now, and then we use a uh, slate. Look at that. So we were able to kill him in one hit. Let's actually see how much experience that just gave us. That gave us like almost almost 300. And because we just defeated that, we did end up getting the trophy character professor uh, Riku and uh, record keeper Riku uh, just for completing that, which is pretty cool. Now, these enemies will, of course, give us a tremendous amount of uh, experience. So this is why this is such a really, really great area to level up in. Uh, obviously, we'll kill that Dark Ball and that Wizard, no problem. Look how much experience we got just from those last few enemies. This is why I said that we weren't really going to level in Twilight Town any or anything, just because it is so good to do it here instead. So, I highly recommend clearing the room, and if we look at Castle Oblivion, it is not a big place at all. And we leveled up. Holy crap, guys. We got like 4,000 experience in one battle. We are already level 50. We're going to increase our attack points yet again. We almost got two levels in this room, and uh, that's crazy. That's crazy. I'm pretty sure we got all of the enemies we could fight, though, so we can continue on. Seriously? Oh, man. Oh, man. Don't level in Destiny Islands or or in Twilight Town because you can come here and you can just you can just do it no problem, guys. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use our mar- Uh... Yeah, we'll use our Martial Waking here. We'll probably just go ahead and use Martial Waking on everything because because there's only, what, three rooms in all of Castle Oblivion? And we want as many levels as we can get. All right. Where's an enemy? Okay, thank you. I need you. And we leveled up yet again. Level 51. We're going to put that into our uh, darkness points yet again. We're getting so strong, guys. So strong. We need health, though. We need health bad. And we leveled up yet again. We are now level 52. We're going to put more into our DP. Uh, hitting if hitting 52 is a pretty cool a pretty cool thing. So we'll go ahead and use this door. Uh, actually, I'm kind of curious to see 
what we have one more so let's go ahead and actually create a moment's reprieve here uh we don't necessarily need it but i'm me and i would like to at least have one on this floor all right let's go ahead and save and then we will use potentially the last door of the entire game all right let's go ahead and use this last door i'm i'm shaking in my boots guys i'm shaking in my boots let's go ahead and do this we need 13. That's it. Just 13 cards. Can we... I wonder... I was going to say... Oh. We'll use our Joker card. Because we haven't used it yet. So we just... We just used it. I smell you, Ansem. Show yourself. I have watched you fight. I know your strength. Your skill with darkness has grown. It has become more mature. And yet why? Why do you accept the darkness, but still refuse me? You know you and I are similar. We both follow where the darkness leads. Indeed, we are the same. So why? Does some part of your heart still have a fear of the dark? That's not it. The truth is... I just can't stand your foul stench! You are a fool. You should know my powers well by now. Yeah, I know. Or did you forget? I used all the power you had to give, and Sora still beat me. I'm not at all impressed with your powers. Very well. In that case, you shall sink into the abyss! All right, here we go. The final battle against Ansem. Not the fake Ansem, which was actually Diz who trained us to get here, but the real Ansem, just like Sora before us. This fight is going to be super chaotic. Super chaotic, super fast. The idea here is that we actually want to see if we can duel him right off the bat, which we are able to do, uh, which is good. And then we'll, we'll, we will be able to beat him, uh, which is perfect. We'll hit him with a Dark Barrage. And then we're going to hope here that he will use this 7 that he's hovering. Uh, he didn't do that. Uh, okay, 9, perfect. So we'll go ahead and duel him yet again. Uh, we need to see if we can break him as many times as we possibly can. If we can do this, we will be able to hopefully enter Dark Mode. Dark Mode is really, really, really important to us in this game, uh, in this fight. Like, really, really important. We also need to make sure that we use our, uh, our, our Mickey card to... Okay, so we need to switch to a zero card. Uh, okay, or we can just... We can just dodge all that. Okay, here we go, we'll break him. Break him yet again. Okay, that wasn't a break. All right, so we're gonna wait here, hit him with a slate. We wanna enter dark mode now. Okay, here we go. All right, cool. We'll duel him yet again. I'm hoping that we'll be able to win. I mean, it's it's kind of hard to win these duels, man. Kind of hard. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. If he wins this, we lose. Oh, yeah, we got it. Ooh, that was really close. Okay. Come open your heart. Now we'll go ahead, hit him yet again. Uh, I'm actually going to see if we can... All right, well, we can use a duel yet again. Uh, as you can see, this is just... This is going to be a lot of what this fight is. It's just using these duels, seeing if we can actually get him. And now we're going to hit him yet again. All right, guys. Now, this is going to be super important. We're going to wait for him to cast this dark rush. We're going to use zero. Uh, we want to enter dark mode as soon as possible. Uh, come on. Is this... There we go. Perfect. Now, we want to go ahead, switch to our uh, 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 Genie Jafar card. And then we want to just slate it up and see if we can beat him now with just slates. So, we'll go ahead and use dark fire gun. We want to be careful not to use our Dork Aura while he is using his Guardian ability. Uh, so we'll go ahead and use this. Alright. Dark Fyrga. 
Okay, now we want to see if we can use Dark Fire Guy yet again. And Dark Aura. Here we go. No! He was able to card break us because it wore off. Okay, so we need to go ahead... Oh, he's going to use that zero card. Damn it. That's going to be the end of this fight. There's nothing we can do. Uh, okay, we need to we need to dodge. We need to dodge. We need to dodge this as much as possible. Or we can go ahead and break it. All right, let's see if we can use Dark Break here. Come on, Dark Break yet again. Okay, here we go. Dark Fibergut. Almost, almost, Dark Fibergut and down. Oh no, oh no. Oh baby, come on. Down goes Ansem. That was so close. That was so close. What a hard fight, dude. What a hard fight. This is the end. This is hardly the end. Your darkness. I gave it all to you. My dark shadow lingers. Someday, someday, I will return. Sora. Kairi. Gosh, Riku, I know you wanted to do this alone, but you don't mind getting a little help, do ya? So, Riku, what happens next? Are you going home? I can't go home. Not yet. It's still here. It's really faint, but I can sense him. So, I think his darkness may still have a hold on me. Your darkness belongs to you, just the same way your light does. Up till now, I thought darkness was something that should never exist. Then, I spent time with you and changed my mind. The road you chose, I didn't know. Light and dark, back to back. With you, I think they might meet in a way nobody's seen before. Wonder where that road leads. I'd like to see myself. Huh? I'd like to walk the road with you. <laughs> Your Majesty, I'm really flattered. I don't know what to say. Gosh, Riku, you know you don't have to call me that now. We're pals. Fair enough, Mickey. What are you making me choose now? Between the road to light and the road to darkness. Neither suits me. I'm taking the middle road. 
Do you mean the twilight road to nightfall? No. It's the road to dawn. And with that, we've completed Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories Riku's story. That was pretty good! Uh, I don't feel like the ending gave us as much as I would have liked in the way of answers. Uh, Sora's still sleeping, Naminé's still there, Diz gave us choices. I don't fully understand what's happening. But, Castle Oblivion is clean, right? There's no more Organization 13 members there. We destroyed them. Maybe we should take a look at the road that stands before us. The road to Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. Hey, Roxas. Oh. It's been a while. What's the matter? You look like you've seen a ghost. Axel. I heard everyone at Castle Oblivion was annihilated. Not me. I'm tough. You had me worried. Worry? We nobodies don't have the hearts to worry, you know? I'll go buy us some ice cream. Why didn't you report in? What? Not even one little word of appreciation? The only thing I've heard is that Namine has gone missing. There one minute, gone the next. I don't know how she got out. Did you search every room? Are you kidding? You know as well as I do that searching through every room there is impossible. And the chamber. Did you find it? Come on, I would have told you that much. I gotta hand it to you. About Marluxia being one of the traitors, you knew exactly what was up from the start. Hm. I merely rounded up and sent off the ones who were getting in the way. Whoa there. Was I one of those you wanted to erase? Good to see you made it back safe. I disposed of Zexion, by the way. I moved things along just the way you wanted. At least for now. The time has arrived. And at long last, we see before us the great collection of hearts. Hearts full of rage, hate, sadness, and bliss. Shining down upon us is the crystallization of all hearts. Kingdom hearts. There, in the sky, hangs the promise of a new world. My friends, let us gain further power to conquer the human heart and claim it as our own. Let us remember why we are here and what we hope to achieve. Hearts shall be gathered and be made our own. Hearts shall never again have power over us. And with that, let's see what we did. We got the trophy Road to Dawn. Proud player Riku because we finished the game on proud mode. That's pretty sweet. 
544 rapid breaks, 80% of card duels won, dark mode activated 124 times, clear time could have been better, a lot of that was me sitting around, dark D reports covered 100%. Card collector rank, one who reigns over cards. It means we got them all. Game level proud mode. Let's go ahead and save the game. I think you guys should keep an eye out on the channel because we will be doing some Kingdom Hearts stuff leading up to the release of Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5 for the PlayStation 4 on March 28th, which is about a month from finishing this series. Uh, I was going to start right in on 2.5, and maybe I'll still do that, although I highly doubt it. Um... But I think playing it on the PlayStation 4 will just be a better idea. I think it'll be better quality. It'll just be a better time to play that game. So I think we're going to wait till then. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. I really did. I'm going to be making some videos that are going to be like the road to Kingdom Hearts 2. Like what happens behind the scenes? Uh, what happens to get us to the point where 2 can actually start? So there you have it. That is, that is it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love you all. Uh, right now showing up on screen is the playlist for this series. In case you're catching the end, you can start over from the beginning. And a video that YouTube has chosen specifically for you. And a Patreon button if you want to support the channel monetarily. $3 a month means you can vote on what we play next. Thank you all for watching and remember, never give up, never surrender to the darkness.